Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. On April 18, 2024, Israel executed a nighttime operation utilizing a domestically produced air-to-ground missile known as the Rampage to strike an Iranian military facility close to Isfahan, as reported by Hebrew media and referenced by the Times of Israel. This missile, measuring 4.7 meters in length and boasting supersonic capabilities, presents challenges for air defense systems, including sophisticated Russian ones, due to its elusive nature. The attack was prompted by a significant assault by Iran on Israel the prior week, involving around 300 unmanned aerial vehicles, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles aimed at the Jewish state. Subsequent satellite imagery revealed extensive damage inflicted upon the Iranian base, underscoring the precision of the strike and Israel's adeptness at circumventing and neutralizing Iranian defenses. Manufactured by Israeli military industry systems and Israel Aerospace Industries, the Rampage was first introduced in 2018. Engineered to penetrate and eliminate heavily fortified targets like bunkers, its stealth attributes minimize radar detection, rendering it highly effective against advanced air defense systems. The Rampage serves as a long-range precision weapon suitable for all weather conditions and high-threat environments. It operates autonomously with fire-and-forget capabilities and can carry up to four missiles per aircraft. Technical specifications include a blast fragmentation or general-purpose warhead with a 10-meter circular error probable accuracy and an impact velocity ranging from 350 to 550 meters per second. The missile supports integration with various aircraft, either independently or through avionic systems, and facilitates video transmission via an RS-170 interface and wireless communication. Targets typically designated for the Rampage encompass Air Force bases, control towers, ammunition depots, bunkers, air defense assets, logistics centers, communication infrastructure, and command posts. With a weight of approximately 570 kilograms, a length of 4.7 meters, and a diameter of 306 millimeters, the Rampage offers a cost-effective solution for precision long-range strikes. Footage released by Fardad Farzad, a correspondent for the opposition site Iran International, showcases significant damage inflicted upon the air defense systems at the site on Sunday morning. The Shikari base, situated near the city's international airport, potentially encompasses bunkers, aircraft hangars, and air defense systems, including launchers and radars, as per the Alma Research and Education Center. Isfahan also hosts other military installations, including an underground ballistic missile base in the northwest of the city. According to the London-based Arabic-language newspaper Ashark al-Assad, the targeted base represents one of the Iranian Air Force's crucial hubs and accommodates its most advanced fighter jets. An entity linked to the intelligence of the Iranian Revolutionary Guards Corps describes the base, named Shahid Babai, as the heart of the Iranian Air Force, comprising 17 air bases and hosting three fighter squadrons and two training squadrons equipped with F-7, F-14, and Sukhoi Su-24 aircraft. The base is positioned northeast of Isfahan, approximately 12 miles from the nuclear research reactor and industrial parks associated with the Iranian defense establishment and the Badr drone base southeast of Isfahan. It also lies about 75 miles from the Natanz Uranium Enrichment Facility, 175 miles from the Iraq Heavy Water Nuclear Reactor, and roughly 155 miles from the Ferdow Underground Uranium Enrichment Facility nestled beneath the mountains of Qom City. Meanwhile, Iran's foreign minister has sought to downplay the incident by likening the Israeli drones used to toys, a claim not yet officially addressed by Israeli authorities. Iran contends that only three small drones were involved in the Isfahan attack, refuting the presence of missiles. Israeli broadcaster Ken has highlighted the identification of the rampage from photographs and the extent of the resultant damage. This aligns with assertions from the New York Times, citing undisclosed officials, indicating that the utilization of this advanced weapon aimed to dissuade Iran from launching further direct attacks on Israel. American media outlets have reported that Israeli drones targeted and inflicted damage upon critical components of Iran's air defense infrastructure, notably impacting a battery of the advanced S-300 PMU-2 air defense missile system and its associated 30 and 6E engagement radar. That's all for now, see you later.